Let's take a look at the most brain dead Armored Core 6 reviews on Metacritic, shall we? This game would be so much better if it wasn't so difficult. The training mission has a boss, which is impossible to defeat. Unless you look at videos on YouTube, then it gets harder. The next boss shoots lasers at you and kills you with two shots, but of course I only have two half heals and no continues. And you can't even change the difficulty level? What the fuck? Zero out of ten. Played for 10 hours combat is weak gameplay is not great story is very weak not a game for me this is not a Dark Souls game. Stay to Souls games from soft not games like this. 0 out of 10. Miyazaki was barely involved with this and it shows. The game makes the same mistake as Wolong. The opening level is very badly designed with mediocre textures. The very first boss is a real pain and at that very monotonously designed like everything else. The game is divided into chapters, and every time you quit the game, you'll have to restart the chapter from scratch, which is extremely frustrating. What? The first from software game I quit this early. Pick just any non from software souls game and it'll turn out better than this garbage. 0 out of 10. It's a great game worthy of From Software, I hope it in the nominations of the Game Awards. 0 out of 10. I do not like Soul games, I don't dislike them either, but Armored Core has always been my FromSoft favorite, and FromSoft always delivers when Armored Core is involved. Excellent game is not perfect, but the difficulty, history and playthrough are well designed, is a difficult game yes. You need to learn one or two thing to be able to enjoy this game. But for me, this is what it makes this game so enjoyable. 0 out of 10. Armored crap this is a Souls game with a thin sci-fi veneer slapped over it made by folks who I would assume have never seen or played a previous Armored Core game apparently this is literally the only thing from software can make anymore. The first major encounter essentially forces you into a viewpoint that the camera slash controls handle very poorly and into melee combat for the duration because nothing says heavily armored mech bristling with ranged weapons. Like sitting under a target and beating on it like a piñata, if you need some ego boost for your e go ahead, maybe you'll enjoy it. If you wanted a fun mech combat game, skip this. 1 out of 10. Choose a build, can't see shrit, die, choose another build, can't see shrit, die, repeat, choose another build, can't see shrit. Miraculously won. This game is fun and challenging. The average worm-sized brain of an Armored Core 6 player. 1 out of 10. One of the worst games I've ever played, graphics of 2013 combined with poor physics engine. You simply cannot destroy any building or cover or even a chunk of road, all combat situations looks like a mobile game fights. You simply do damage and so does the enemy. You're not using any surroundings in action except of course flying a little bit to evade some attacks. If you got pissed with attack of some mobs slash bosses you cannot shoot the weapon out of their mech, there's simply no such function. Which leads to absolutely zero of dynamic in the fight except stagger, which is not even that useful, and not to mention the iframes, why in the world someone thought it would be a great idea to simply delete them. In such bullet hell spam there always was only one reliable way to avoid damage and its roll or dash. But it won't work in Armored Core 6, cause game thinks something bigger of itself. Very disappointed with something that could've been a great game. Honestly I wish Hidetaka was a part of the team so the game could be way better a lot of missions are done within 5 minutes. And very repetitive mech building is just boring, look at Crossout. In this game you literally build anything you want, even if it can't move or shoot. 
But Armored Core gives you a simple system of upgrades where you cannot make something that you would like. This game is very boring, and when it stops being boring, it becomes unfair. I can't understand those people paying $60 for something that feels so old and junk, and saying the game is fire. 2 out of 10. Let me start by saying that I am 100% surprised by From Software. As someone who played every game from this company, other than Armored Core, this game is just a waste of time. It's one of those games you could find in the sale budget bin in stores long ago. The game is totally forgettable. Nothing special stands out. I can sum up this game in just a few words, waste of time. I guess it was made for the nostalgia alone to grab some cash on the ride. Really hope that it's not the start of From Software's decline in quality. We'll judge it more when their next game comes out. 4 out of 10. I haven't wanted a refund for a game so quickly as I have for AC6. FromSoft's typical design has ruined Armored Core. Horrible level and boss design have created the worst AC I've ever played. Gone are the days when you get to build an AC around your playstyle and what works best for you. Now you get to run through a bunch of vanilla levels until you hit the boss fight, then hope you've bought every part in the game so you can then spend 5 hours figuring out the AC part puzzle combination you have to use to win. At the time of writing this 60% of people haven't gotten out of chapter 1. This isn't a player or skills issue, this is a poor design issue. 0 out of 10. Depressingly bad game. Here's some text for the character limit. We woo wow wow. Wait for it. 0 out of 10. Jesus, they went bad. I can work 50 hours a week, still have no trouble with Sekiro, Elden Ring, or the remastered Dark Souls. This game is that with bullet hell, but it's no fun. It's not fun to play. I know, get good. But this isn't fun. This is torture. I'm giving up on games. This is proof that fun can't be had unless you're a streamer or a masochist with too much free time. I'm going back to playing guitar. I'll make more definitive progress and get work done. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Zero out of ten. All right, I think that's enough for today. I feel like I'm losing brain cells by the minute. Thanks for watching, everybody. If watching these brain dead reviews by morons who got filtered by the helicopter made you laugh, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.